Hi, this is the preacher from the Philippines, and uh, continuation of our message. God is a balanced being. Okay, militant kafir, why he does not scream now? He was more fun now than before. Now he is just idiotic rambling. This is really something must be wrong with you all of you at this. If I'm going to raise my boys, you call me crazy. If I will lower it, then you will also do the same. You see, the problem with you, at this, it's like this. You are so arrogant and boastful. You are trying to pretend that you are okay, that you have peace, that you have joy, and you can live even without God. If that is your decision, all of it is that you will live and die without accepting Christ, without believing God. Expect and prepare yourself because you will surely be born in hell. For sending blasphemous comments, for sending evil and diabolical satanic comments, you are not hurting me. I'm telling you, you are not offending me. You are only hurting yourself because you cannot win against God. I'm telling you. Okay, the Bible was written to twist mankind to the will of the creators of the creators of the book. Shame on you. You see, prove to me one contradiction from the Bible. If you can found if you can find any. The Bible is the word of God. The authors of these books. The one who wrote this book were all inspired by the Holy Spirit. So therefore there is no contradiction. The reason why you keep on blaspheming God, all of you at this. The reason why you keep on insulting Him. You know why? Because you don't like the chains. You prefer to live in sin and die in sin rather than believing and worshiping God. That is your problem. Mr. Gizim, I agree. Go ahead, all of you. Crucifixion. A book with at least 400 contradiction. 400 contradiction? Show me one contradiction. And I'm going to uh, um, explain it. If there is. I'm sure there's none. Sahud Son. I openly disagree with the Bible, but not the existence of God. Prove to me that the Bible has not changed one word since the very first copy was made. Okay, prove to me now, Saud Son, if there is any contradiction. You don't believe in the existence of God, but you are denying His word. Then it's just the same. If you believe God, you must believe the Bible. That's how it is. Cosmic sin, your last command, yes, cosmic sin. Your last comment was horrible. You see, I'm telling you now, Cosmic Sin, I almost vomited when I, uh, after reading your comment. I hope, Cosmic Sin, God will still, look, will still give you another chance before casting you to hell. You will just rumble hate and condemnation. Why would anyone want to worship monster. I hope you realize I care for you. A monster? You see, God is giving you now chances after chances to know and accept Him and love and believe in Him. But you do not care. You are deliberately offending God. Deliberately mocking him, insulting him, and yet you expect him to save you? You expect him to open the doors and gates of heaven for you? No way! God is a loving God, but he is also a balanced being. He is just. Okay. You disobey God, there's punishment. Obey God, there is reward, but you choose to disobey him. Because why? They're all full of evil. This is the reason. Militant Kapir, 
I don't want to go to heaven. It's full of crazy people like you. Okay, all of you know, uh, atheists, listen to me. And this is what you want to do now. Okay? You don't like to be warned. You don't like to hear the truth. You pretend that you're okay. You're pretending. And everything is okay. But no way. I've been telling you, if I'm going to preach to you a lie, you will love me. You will not hate me. If I'm going to preach lie after lies, you will love me. I will not do that. I've been telling you, I'd rather you hate me for telling the truth rather than love me for telling you a lie. Never mind the cold. You are lost. Aburkada bur. You are funny. Oh my. Let me read from Genesis chapter 6. It says, Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful. And they took wives for themselves of whom of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men forever, for he is in deep place, yet his days shall be one hundred years. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was, eh, was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he, he was grieved in his heart. So uh, the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast. And I am sorry that I have made them. See, all of you, atheists, this is your problem. This is your problem. During Noah's days, God decided to, to destroy all of them because of their wickedness. And their intent of their heart is only wickedness. But before he destroyed those people, he gave them chances after chances. Noah was preaching more than 100 years, and nobody listened. Nobody repented and believed in his message. So what happened? After 100 years, God finally destroyed those people who were so stubborn and arrogant. Just like you now, you are given no chances after chances to repent and acknowledge and believe this great God. But instead of believing, you chose to ignore, to mock, and blaspheme Him. So on Judgment Day, what excuse do you have? Right now you are all alive, breathing. But instead of believing this message, you chose to follow your heart. Your mind was full of evil. I'm telling you now, all of you, at this. Not unless you will come to realize and acknowledge God. I'm telling you, you are all doomed to be burned in hell. You don't like to hear this message. Just like those people during Noah's time, they don't like to hear that message of salvation. God was giving them chances after chances. No, they did not believe God. They mocked God. They insulted God. They blasphemed God. So with Noah, they insulted Noah. They thought he was just a, a madman. Just like what you are doing now. Instead of listening and acknowledging this great God, you chose to follow your evil ways. And so in Judgment Day, all of you, Blasphemers who doesn't like to acknowledge Jesus Christ will surely be burned and tormented into the lake of fire forever and ever. This is what you choose. You choose and love darkness more than light. You love death more than life. Keep on sending blasphemous commands. That will not hurt me. It will not offend me. You you are just destroying your soul for doing so. I hope all of you at this.